the internet as we know it right now, um, I believe is like the biggest realization in, in, in engineering in human history. Imagine an even better version of the internet, one that's more secure and can transfer larger amounts of information. If we develop it and then we can build it, that many things are going to be more secure and that of course can impact everybody. Right? From the banks to the governments, from even your transactions that you do with your credit card. Dr. Eden Figueroa, associate professor of physics at Stony Brook University and joint appointee at Brookhaven National Laboratory, successfully developed a working long distance quantum network. It's the foundation for the nation's quantum internet infrastructure and what could one day become an unhackable internet. Let's define quantum as um, a set of technologies that are based on quantum principles and then having engineer systems that we can control in which these particles that now we they have new properties right we actually force them to do what we want in this case exchange information or process information in a very distinctive manner with respect to the systems that we have right now. The current internet works by sending lights into fibers, which are these blue wires. Lasers and pulses encode information with zeros and ones. But instead of working with millions of particles or photons, this new version would work with one at a time in order to monitor whether it's been hacked. If you lose your photon, you will realize it, which then makes very easy to check if somebody is eavesdropping on the information you're transmitting. Dr. Figueroa works with a team out of the Quantum Information Technology Lab. The equipment, several million dollars, but the possibilities, potentially priceless. The National Quantum Initiative Act, which was passed in 2018, infused over a billion dollars of research funding into the quantum information science and technology. Researchers work in partnership with Brookhaven National Lab, or BNL. Just a few months ago, they were able to successfully transmit photons from Stony Brook to BNL. Long Island has always been a hub for innovation. This signal is a live quantum connection or real-time measurements of individual photons or particles of light traveling from Stony Brook to Brookhaven National Laboratory. It's a total distance of 80 miles in a matter of microseconds. All of our photon transmissions are done on these conventional fiber optic links. This one comes from Stony Brook and arrives here. We pull off these two signals, send them around, and they come into this detector, which is sensitive to the infrared single photons. Its signals are captured and processed here and then sent over to the computer for display. Other nations are working on their version of quantum internet, and it's a race to finish first. Dr. Figueroa and his team are putting in the time and effort. While we're still a few decades away from what could become a more efficient new normal, understanding how this research works brings us one step closer. This is just the beginning. There are so many things to come, and this is what makes it so, so exciting. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.